Welcome to AP Daily. Today we're going to start with skill 1A, where we're going to talk about characters. My name is Mr. Carlos Escobar from Miami, Florida, representing Felix Varela Senior High School. And like I said, we are going to be talking about characters, and I don't want any of you to think that this is some new foreign subject. We're laying the foundation, and as you can tell, we're going to start with things that are very familiar to you. We're going to talk about the aspects of a character to analyze. When we talk about characterization, what exactly do we mean by that? And then we're going to get into the words that we use to describe characters. We're going to be building vocabulary throughout this lesson. So the first thing we, we said we would discuss are these aspects of characterization. What do I mean by that? Well, when we first encounter a character in a book, when you open a novel, when you open a short story for the first time, and you see a character's name, this person is essentially a stick figure. You don't know anything about them. They're not, they're not your best friend yet. As you start to delve into the reading, you're going to see how these characters feel and you're going to start to realize how these characters think. And these are the aspects of characterization, the physical, emotional and psychological states of mind of characters make up what we're going to be calling characterization. Once we delve deeply into these and we start talking about the function of the characterization, which we're going to do in later videos, then you're going to start getting a more uh, total composite of each character. So if we understand the three aspects of characterization, what we got to talk about next is how do we describe these aspects? And I want to share this with you. And here are some adjectives. And, and that's the key phrase there, okay? Adjectives. We want to build our adjective capacity because the more words we know to attribute to characterization, the more we're going to reach, the closer we're going to get to our goal, which is precision. We want to be as precise as possible when we talk about these characters. I want you to see that these, these, these words are not meant to be uh, housed in these three categories exclusively. You might see, for example, the word confused is there under emotional and psychological. I've done that on purpose so you can see that we can use these words throughout the three aspects, but we must think of the three aspects. I also want you to note that these are not the most sophisticated words. No one said that for you to be successful in your analysis of literature, you have to use these uh, words that nobody can understand. As a matter of fact, it's when we use language that is understood by all, as long as that language is precise, that we're really going to captivate our audience with our analysis. So let's practice. You know, we can think of a character, a friend, or a family member, but I'm actually going to encourage you to think of a friend or a family member right now because you know those people best. So go ahead and write that person's name down, and I'm going to give you a cheat sheet. I'm going to give you the words that we looked at in the previous slide, and I want you to take some time. You can go ahead and pause this video if you'd like and populate different adjectives surrounding this character so that you can share with me, with your teacher, with, with your friends, a, a full composite of this character. Once you're done with that, go ahead and unpause the video, and then we're going to continue. I want you to look at the list that you just created. I want you to look at the adjectives that you created and see if you fall into any of these pitfalls. We want to make sure that we do not limit the number of descriptions you provide. If your teacher asks you for characterization, the goal is not to come up with the one word. After all, is there a word that could describe you? Or is there a word that can describe your best friend or your mom or your dad? Probably not, right? These are complex individuals, and because of their complexity, we want to try to get as many words as possible. But we also want to make sure that we don't ignore any of the three aspects. I don't just want to know about a character's physicality or emotional state or psychological state. I want to make sure that you are giving me adjectives that target each of these three aspects of characterization. But the biggest pitfall the, the number one thing I see students do, which I want us to avoid, is please let's do not rely on synonyms. Saying that a character is funny and comedic and humorous is not the end goal here, because at the end of the day, you've only given me one aspect of this character. So go ahead and pause the video again if you'd like. Look at the list. Do you have words that describe each of the three aspects? And do you have any words that are essentially synonyms of one another? And at that point, cross one of them out 
and see if you can push yourself to extend the characterization of the person you've selected. Ultimately, we want to go walk away with a series of questions that we're going to ask ourselves whenever we encounter text and whenever we're asked to characterize one of the characters we encounter in, in a short story or eventually a longer fiction. So the two questions I want to leave you with are, how might this character be described physically, emotionally, and or psychologically? And to be able to answer that question, we need to go to the second question. What words can I use to describe this character? which is when we return to our list of adjectives, which I hope that, look, if you're watching video one right now, keep that list with you and build upon it throughout the course of the year. And eventually you're gonna have a great tool that you're always gonna return to. I hope you found this uh, conversation on characterization useful. I wanna see you for the next video where we're gonna take what we're talking about and apply it to literature. Thank you guys, take care.